I always seem to be really curious about science, particularly astronomy and cosmology. They can help take your imagination almost to the outer limits because they're probing such enormously distant and vast expanses of space and time. Katie's work is all about sensory experience, our experience of the elements of the material world, and that's also what Turner was about, that very physical experience of nature. Nowadays, the disciplines of art and science feel very much separate, and Katie is quite remarkable in the way that she kind of melds them together so truly. I'm fascinated by Turner's work that relate to his moonscapes, glaciers and mountainscapes and rough terrains and rocks and strata. I learned that Turner mixed a specific paint to try to paint his moonscapes and I've tried to make a, a light bulb that simulates the moon. And it's these sort of relationships of what might happen by sitting the works alongside each other that might be quite unexpected and different. We chose the title A Place That Exists Only In Moonlight partly because we found it very evocative. It's one of Katie's ideas. These are very short, text-based works rendered in silver. They're almost like haikus. We invited members of the public to come to a hands-on philosophy session to select three of Katie Patterson's ideas to be made for the exhibition. And it was just really to have a discussion about what these ideas evoke in the imagination. So it was a great experience because I'm kind of used to the way I think about certain ideas and there's multiple ways of thinking about them and, and that's what I really like, it's sort of all the different ways that people could approach them and think about them. All her artworks start as a very simple idea in her mind and sometimes that turns into these incredible pieces which she undertakes enormous research in order to realise. It's very much a collaborative practice and that I would never be able to make any of these artworks without experts in their own fields and so we kind of worked together through that process and their ideas feed into the works. I knew that she'd played with ideas and I think that's one of the lovely things about Katie's work is she just takes something on a grand scale and is just so playful with it. So I've made two new works for the exhibition. One is called The Cosmic Spectrum and it is a large spinning colour wheel that charts the, the colour of the whole universe. So most people probably know that the universe began in a big bang. And so, you know, that is a very energetic moment. But then as the universe expands and cools, the colours change to move to redder wavelengths. And then suddenly the universe comes into starlight. Those stars are very hot and hence blue. And then eventually as the universe ages, it changes as you get a mix of old and young stars. Throughout most of the universe, the galaxies are mainly composed of hydrogen and helium and the colour is primarily from just the temperature. So within this colour wheel, we could actually stretch time in the early parts of the universe and compress time in the future in an accurate way, which enables us then to try and visualise the whole sweep of colour over these cosmic timescales. One of the pieces that she produced um, a few years ago called Totality, which brought together thousands of images of solar eclipses and attaching them into this giant mirror ball. Now, when I first saw that piece lit up, I just found it utterly mesmerizing. It was evocative of the sun itself. It was evocative of the moon and all the elements that play in solar eclipses. Being here in Margate definitely brought home the experience Turner must have had when he was here and the astonishing colours and the sunsets and the, the wild seas and it really makes the colours in this work suddenly make a lot of sense. When members of the public come into the gallery they can experience Turner's landscapes and then maybe at the same time listen to the sound that's been echoed from the moon look at solar eclipses like dancing across Turner moonscapes and all of those elements coming together at once. I'm hoping it'll be a kind of new experience for people. Mm -hmm.